everybody. I'm Mr. Auerbach, and today I'm going to be going through section five of the atomic structure reading on electrons in atoms, or uh, yeah, electrons in atoms. And what we're looking at is doing electron configurations. We started doing that in the previous uh, section four uh, lesson uh, on the reading, and now I'm going to talk a little bit more about actually filling in electrons and using the d orbitals and, and things like that. Um, if you want more of a conceptual take on d orbitals, you'll have to see other materials. But anyway, right now we're we're really just talking about how we fill in electrons, and and the um, energy is a big part of it. You know, it says uh, when you're putting in electrons, uh, electrons occupy the lowest energy subshell first and and let's look at what i am talking about with that which is uh excuse me um if uh i i have sort of an atom filled out here and this is the the nucleus over here uh, at the bottom and then you have level one with its two electrons level two with its eight electrons level three and level four, and they're all divided into their, their subgroups. Level one just has your S-shaped orbitals. Level two has your S and your P. Uh, level three has S, P, and D. Level four has S, P, D, and F. But really, they're just groups of, of uh, orbitals, which each hold uh, up to one pair of electrons. And you keep filling them until you run out of electrons. But the point is that it does start in sort of the the lowest uh, it starts in the lowest first. So when you're filling in your first electrons, they're going to go here and fill in this lowest area around the nucleus before they go up here. It's it's just like a, a stadium or something. You're not going to sit in the you're not going to sit up here in the nosebleed bleed seats when there are perfectly good uh, ringside seats available. So we'll get rid of that one there. Uh, but but anyway, they, they fill in. And as you can see, they, they fill in in suborbital level first. So if, if you had, let's say, uh, magnesium number 12, how about that to fill in? Well, you're going to fill in your two, your, your two 1s electrons, which would be 1s2, right? This two being the, oops, the number of electrons here. One, one being the level, general level around the nucleus called number one, and s meaning the s sphere shaped suborbital. Uh, and then after that, we do that, there's still 10 more to go, and so we have to go to level two. And first, we're going to fill uh, level 2s with 2. And, and then after that, we'll go to level 2p. And we would fill in 2, 4, 6. Uh, filling these in 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, and 6. Uh, just because working with the rule that electrons don't like to be in an orbital uh, with another electron if they have an empty orbital that they can go to. So uh, after you do that, you would fill in your 6p electrons, 2p6, um, and then uh, then that's all for level p. We've only filled in 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And so we have two more to do, and so we have to go up to the next level, uh, and we would go to 3s. Uh, after level three, we'll have to go back to the chart to, to work with it because it's a little more complicated, but we fill in 3s2. We double check that um, the numbers add up to the number we're trying to get, which is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is good for magnesium. We've filled in the uh, orbitals. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, let's undo this real quick, and I think I'm going to do a different element. Uh, let's do something a little bigger. How about um, how about vanadium number twenty three? So um, we'll do B uh, twenty three. 
23. And so now we have 23 to fill in. But before we do that, let's just double check uh, the order filling template that I gave you uh, because I want to make sure that this is all making sense. So again, this is this is another sort of version of the same thing. I can't draw on this one or I would just be doing this. But um, if we were going to do um, a larger number, we just have to remember that we're filling in our orbitals uh, in this sort of y-axis order. So starting at the bottom, it's 1s. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing, uh, oops. I'm going to put it over here, vanadium 23. And so I have to fill in 23 electrons. And so uh, I'm just going to show you using this now. Uh, I'm going to put in two electrons here, and we'll call that good. That's, uh, well, well, we'll do the 1s2, 2s2 part in just a minute. But I have plenty more to go, 21 more to go. Whoops. I'll go in and fill these in. Uh, and actually, sorry about that. Uh, so we fill in our p orbitals one at time and uh, just to, to be a stickler here uh, and that gives us 10 we still have uh, 13 more to go uh, so 3s we would fill in completely then it's telling us to go up to 3p one two three uh, and then back to refill the rest of these four five six so that's 18 and 20 and then now we're into the d orbitals and that's kind of what i wanted to talk about a little bit next one two three and as soon as i write this um we'll so i'll just do this here so one s two that's control plus on your keyboard by the way uh two s two uh 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and 3d3. And so, so that's how you fill in the orbitals for a larger molecule. And again, y'all, it's, it's just using this uh, template and starting at the lowest, like uh, gravity or anything else, lowest energy first. And then you fill these and you fill them in the order they come. And so after 3D, if we had a larger one, would come 4P, then 5S, then 4D so forth and so on. And so it's it's really just a matter of following the logical steps, logical order, and it tells you where the electrons are. And I promise it's going to be important to know how to do this later on. Thank you very much. I am Mr. Auerbach. Goodbye.